The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray feeling good, Lewis. Uh, we're going to start the show totally different today because we're going to have a special show today. John Jameson is going to be our guest here in about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, and he's going to talk to us about options in Tesla that we were talking about yesterday. I posted that uh, chart here that we looked at yesterday giving the implied volatility. In other words, they had to be expecting something really, really monster big happening. And as you can see here, those of the call holders uh, really got hammered. And now we're down there for the one standard deviation of the um, of the low. So John's going to be discussing how he handles that and what he does with it. So that'll be fun to watch. Also, uh, we want to thank our good friend, Stan Harley, yesterday for being on. He uh, always gave a great show, and he talked to us about the advanced decline line in the New York Stock Exchange Index and the fact that it had been rolling over uh, ever since uh, the 5th of July. And as you can see here, that's what we were looking at. He gave five different reasons for to be out of stocks here or even be short. One of them is the divergence between the Russell and the um, Dow Jones and um, – what was the other one? Uh, there were three or four. I, I can't remember all of them, but there were five things that he talked about. Uh, but m one of them, of course, was this, which was a major, major uh, danger sign. And, of course, we've been watching this three-drive pattern unfold. It's amazing how Apple's getting hammered today before the opening, before their, their, uh, their earnings tonight. So that's going to be an interesting one to look at. Folks, uh, over the past uh, few days, I've been talking about algorithms and what they really mean here and I wanted to bring this up to you because it's really important because what happened today really was telling telling you what was going to happen to the market if we take a look at this this is the hourly chart of the Nasdaq which has been the big daddy rabbit that's been leading the whole way up but ever since the 19th of July you'll notice that we've had these retracements the first was 618 second one 382 the third one, 382, and then yesterday, I, I will show you the 382, but the number to look at up there is that 1.618 expansion there at 15,130. Folks, the high on this thing was 15,134. I sent a video out on that last night. I said, this is the cheapest you're ever going to get to go short. You know, so if you're going to look at it, this is the time to do it. And I told him to be careful, of course, but uh, that's what is usually going to happen. So we'll see. The problem is we had these earnings coming out today of these three big people. But right now, these three big companies are probably going to have earnings maybe a little less. But I don't know. I'm just bringing the patterns to your attention. The reason why it's important, folks, and I, I would love to show you what happened here uh, last night, but unfortunately, my computer is dying, folks. This is the, probably the last day. If you don't get any videos from me for a few days, it's because of the old uh, the thing is dead. Uh, so that I'm getting it set up on the other one, but who knows what's going to happen there? You will notice how we made a three. It's a 15-minute chart. We made a 382 retracement. Then we went up and we made that 15,130, and then we came down yesterday and made another if you were to just do the work yourself just go and look you made another 382 retracement there and then you went up and you made the final high at 15,134 today and then all hell broke loose and so that's why these are important you've got to follow what these things are doing and part of that is the standard deviation that john's going to be uh, chatting with us uh, with us also okay Someone has a question about the coffee. I'm not going to touch the coffee, folks. I just brought that up to tell you. The other thing that we tried to bring to your attention yesterday is what was going on in China. Uh, we, we said that things were looking very bad over there. This is the, the uh, K-Web, which is the ETF for the Chinese Internet. You see it's gone from 105, and, folks, it's way below this already. Uh, these things are dropping like a... Like uh, nobody wants to touch him at all. But the other one that you want to watch that we were watching was the Hang Seng Index. And this is the one that uh, I happen to be 
uh, chatting with last night because the market was down another 6%, and it's just cascading down here, which is a very a very ominous thing. I mean, that could never happen here because our, our buyers are different than their buyers. So that uh, you can see here when we made that, uh, we went below – the 25,262 level, we got down to just under 250. That was a seven, excuse me, 25,000. That we went to 24,800, I believe, and that was a 78% retracement of the low that we made way back in September. Now, that could be a major low. When that hit, the Dow Jones and the S&P took off and rallied quite a bit. But unfortunately, the rally didn't hold and they gave it up. This is telling us that the, 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 the uh, what do you call it, the, texture of the market has changed here folks so that's really what we're looking at so we'll see uh, we'll see how it's going on yeah there we're watching all these things ruby because they're all jumping around like crazy folks this is the time where you've got to use a stop for god's sakes if you don't you're you're going to be uh, you're going to be look just look if you didn't use a stop and you looked everything really good last night and the apple and google and all this stuff was in you didn't you put a stop in on some of this stuff and you wake up this morning and say shut the front door you know who knows uh, you just got to be careful it's not about how much money you make folks it's about how much money you don't lose and that's the that's the whole key, you know, to what we what we're looking at here as we're going through some of these things. So, pay close attention to the amount of risk that you have. That's the main thing. But we've been talking about these patterns for quite some time. Today is really the very first day that you've broken all the key indicators that we've been looking for to break. I mean, it's not broken any of those three six one eight or three eight twos on any of these for the last ten days. But today, when we went below uh, thirty excuse me, 43.90 in the S&P. I, and I, I had a beautiful chart set up to show you what was happening at 43.90 and why we rallied off of that really good. But unfortunately, the charts will not uh, reproduce uh, on my desktop, so I can't show you, you know, what I was looking at. So that was, uh, you know, the main thing that I that I was hoping to uh, to get to. But we'll look at that. The one thing that another one that we've been waiting for that that, that performed uh, really nicely, of course, has been that uh, short position in the bond market. Uh, it had a nice rally, which we were sort of expecting. We got up to 65.03 uh, today, so that's all been working out pretty good so that's it things are going to get really really dicey in here folks and you're going to start seeing false news all over the place just like you see in politics and everything else but um, just watch what the charts are doing they can't lie to you they can hide from you they can cheat you they can give you misinformation but the one thing they can't do is they can't hide from you when they're putting the buyers in front of the sellers and more buyers the prices go higher more sellers prices go lower that's the bottom line of what we're looking at but you have to be concerned about what's happening in asia and that's all over asia folks that just not china it's also singapore and it's it uh, it's j-a-m-e-s-o-n jameson it's an e not an i okay and uh, john will be on if you have any questions mr z be happy to call in to john he'll be on in just a few minutes and i uh, i well, uh, you know, I, those of you that get the 24-7 newsletter, I know this is not a, uh, a, a major breakthrough as far as a discovery, but John's been writing it for me for two years. So, uh, and that's first. Uh, anyway, hey, we'll be right back, and Mr. J will be in the room. can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks. I believe we have John Jameson in the house this morning. John, are you there? Yes, good morning, Larry. Good morning, folks. I've been talking with John the last couple of days about Tesla and the the way this implied volatility was working. John, do you want to tell the folks, uh, just start with your, your presentation because you want to show the folks what was happening with Tesla and what a, what a loser sum game it was buying puts or calls. So go ahead, buddy. You got the mic and we're listening. Okay. Um all right, I'm not too sure how, how long I've got. So uh, I'll you've got as long a, as you uh, want. Just take your time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Here we go. Well, what I'm trying to do um, when I'm when I'm looking at anything is figure out an edge, which I'm guess is exactly why you're sitting there listening to Larry. So I prefer my preferred method of uh, trading or investing or speculating is to find value that's underestimated so find hidden value that's what i do now for shorter term trades and for other types of speculations i basically have a few axioms that i trade with so are you ready for a really complicated trading system because here it is investors speculators tend to overreact to new information and ignore long-term trends okay larry what else are we going to do for the next half That's an hour? That's it. Thank you for joining us, John. <laughs> we'll have you back again in a couple of months, okay? <laughs> so, I have to put up with this stuff every day, folks. This is one day for you. Go ahead. <laughs> so that's, that's how simple I try and keep it. And so one of the things that I've observed working um, with people over the last 25 years is that they tend to overcomplicate things. And that's, I think, is especially true uh, in the trading and speculation world. So um, one of the tools that I use that I've, um, th that I've incorporated uh, into, into Larry's newsletter. Now, Larry, have you, um, can, I, can I say this or, or, or have you already mentioned it? I've mentioned it, but say it again so the people really understand it, that you've been writing the letter for two years. Okay. <laughs> Folks, he, he didn't understand English for the first uh, 18 months. I had to teach him you know, how to difference in the language and also driving on the right side of the road. So, But he's doing okay so far. Yeah, John, they're aware that you do it, buddy. So go ahead. Oh, okay, all right. So I just, yeah, I just didn't want to, okay. So anyway, um, let's get back to this then. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find a simple way to figure out whether something is more likely than not. And it really is 
that's what I'm trying to do. That's it. So the tool that I prefer to use to do that is standard deviation. And uh, there's several reasons why I like standard deviation, partly because I've got a computer science background. Um, but I like it because I use it in such a way that my um, maths uh, lecturer uh, would uh, basically be throwing things at me in a room. I use it fast and frugal, quick and dirty, just to get the answers that I need. And so it's a great tool and it's simple to use. So it passes the tests that I look for. So Larry, you might have a, you've got a, a chart there. Chart Standard number one, deviation, that, yes. Uh -huh. Bell-shaped curve. Yep. Okay, yeah. So what we're looking at here is stock markets are in theory normally distributed. They're actually not. And this is the thing. So the first thing is, if you're looking for exactness, um, if there's any engineers or doctors or dentists out there, or anyone who works with, with exactness, um, this is not exact. So um, if you were trying to build an aircraft with this math, <laughs> you, would, you definitely wouldn't take a flight in it. But the thing is, with speculation, you don't have to be perfect. It just, you just have to figure out a way to be able to say, given what I see, is this more likely to happen than not happen? And that's what I use standard deviation for. So the key to standard deviation is to be able to figure out, and in the newsletter, I'm writing a standard deviation for the week. And to do that, I'm using the VIX. And all I'm doing is I'm taking the VIX, which is the basically the annual percentage that the S&P 500 is expected to move in a year, and I'm annualizing it down and turning it into a weekly value. And so that has proved extremely good at picking high and low points, especially when they line up with ABCD patterns and Fibonacci ratios. Now, here's the bad news. They don't work all the time. Sorry, Larry. And I wish yeah. they did, but they don't. I'm a little disappointed, so, but what are you going to do? <laughs> and the great thing about this, though, is if you think about this as positive EV, built into ABCD, you've got a three to one risk reward ratio. And effectively, if you can get three out of 10 right and make three, seven you lose one basically you've got a plus two ev and so what you're trying to do is you're trying to find a moment in time where you've got a confluence of high probability price zones to lean against manage your risk and take it take a trade take a position and that's that's really it so what what's the big deal with standard deviation well taking taking basically that standard deviation um, straddles the, the following week so if you take the the prior week's close you get the uh, plus one standard deviation and minus one standard deviation. Now, most people think when they, you know, they, every, most people have done statistics 101 and they, they, they look at it and go, okay, there's a 68% chance of the price closing in that range. But the key to it is that at minus one standard deviation, if you think of the, the, the standard deviation percentages as a percentile rank, only 15.8% of the time are you going to close below minus one standard deviation. And that is fantastic news to know if you've got that lining up with a 382, a 618, or a 786, and it just happens to be an intraday ABCD, and all of those are clustered within a relatively small, um, within your risk parameters uh, price range, then that is a great thing to lean against. So why is it important, and how does it give you what I call in the letter direct market feedback? Well, direct market feedback is when you look at something, and my, f my favorite book that I, I don't, full confession, uh, I'm an art historian, and uh, apart from computer science, so I've got a, a strange background, but I don't have many trading books on the shelf. But what I do have is Reminiscences of a Stock Operator. I love that book. It's just such a great story, and it's so helpful. And so when Jesse Livermore is saying the market isn't acting right, what I set out to do was to figure out a way to give me something that I can say, that's, that's it, the market isn't acting right. Now, minus two standard deviations, when you're looking at something like that, you're looking at a 97.5% percentile that the market will close above that in a given week. And so it's a simple, simple preposition, uh, proposition. That shouldn't happen. And if it does happen, especially in an uptrend, especially in a, in a straight up market that we've got now in the NASDAQ uh, <clears throat> and the S&P, then that's, that's gives you, that gives you a heads up that instead of trying to aggressively buy those lows, which you still do because we're still in a confirmed uptrend, what you, what you can then do is say, okay, 
the likelihood of this being a decent rally and a rollover is now has now just increased. And really, it's I use it as simple as that. So to create a standard deviation curve, all you need is an average or a mean. And from that, from the population, you can calculate a standard deviation. And using random, if, if you have a look at chart number two, I think it is, Larry, you yes. should see a standard deviation chart there. Yep. If you can post that in. That orange line is a, um, a normal distribution curve John, based on John, we have the mean and the standard deviation from the NASDAQ. We have to pay a few bills here. Can you stay with us, please? I sure can. We'll be right back with John Jameson, folks. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back with John Jameson. And, John, I have the chart of Tesla. You want to tell the folks what you're looking at here? Oh, is that the, the Tesla chart? I was wanting you to have the standard deviation chart of Larry, the, RD, I, with the with the bell curves on it. Have you got that? I, I, I did that one at the very beginning of the show, but I'll put it up again. Just to refresh it for you. Not a problem. No charge. Just a second. There you go. There's Yeah, you should be looking at uh, number two, graph number two that I've sent out. There's two standard deviation charts. The graph number one is the theoretical one, and graph number two is the actual one. Mm -hmm. So it should the one you should be looking at is an orange a bell curve with a blue curve as well. 
uh, blue curve as well. Uh, well, shot. I don't need that one. Uh, that way, I've already showed that one. Yeah, that's it. There it is, right here. I'll put it back up again. Sure. I'm sorry. By the way, I don't see these things being numbered, but you know, it's different over there and across the pond. So it's up to you. Anyway, uh, uh oh, that's not going to work. There you go. Here we go. We have the standard deviation up, and you're ready to go now. So fire away. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, getting back to standard deviation, how can you use it? Okay. Well. Let's say that we're looking at the NASDAQ and let's say we're trying to figure out, OK, in this rip roaring bull market, when it does go down, what are the percentage declines before it does a one day before it closes one day higher? So from that, you get you figure out the percentage declines from that. I used Excel and all you need to do is get a once you get those results. And I did it for this uh, for the newsletter over over the rolling year. Once you get those those results, you are basically just um, you can figure out the mean, which is easy, just it's the average, and then you figure out the standard deviation. Again, using Excel is easy. So once that once you've got those two things, I used a random number generator to generate a perfect theoretical bell curve from the Nasdaq's data, and that's what you're seeing in the orange curve. Then you get the actual returns that the Nasdaq did. And you can see the difference between the theoretical perfect normal distribution and what the NASDAQ actually did. It's roughly the same shape. Well, roughly, roughly. Um, but you can see that there's a green line on that chart. And where that green line intercepts the x-axis, that is minus one standard deviation. And that represents the 84th percentile uh, of down move. It basically, what, that, what that's telling you is the NASDAQ all the accumulated closes, the lows will be, 84% of them will be above that green line. And so that's useful information because it tells you that in an uptrend, that should be happening. And if, it's, if it basically went down to minus two standard deviations, that would be something to definitely raise an eyebrow. And that's the usefulness of being able to do this. But you can see that the actual results weren't actually the perfect results. Now, standard deviation is so powerful, you can use it in lots and lots of situations. This is an example of accumulated declines in the NASDAQ. For the, for the weekly newsletter for Trade What You See, I'm using the VIX to calculate standard deviation because it's fast and easy to do. And, and all I'm doing is I'm multiplying uh, the VIX by the square root of 52, excuse me, dividing the VIX by the square root of 52. And that's giving me the percentage I expect for one standard deviation for the next week. And if you've been reading Trade What You See over the last year, you'll see how accurately those that standard deviations fit that market. So this tool can be used for lots of things. It can be used on static ranges like I'm doing in Trade What You See newsletter. It can be used on an accumulated range to ask a question of the market. You can say, what do you expect? You know, if, you, if you're testing anything, what is the average? What is the standard deviation? What is normal? What is not normal? And so, but that's not the only thing you can use it for. So for example, you can use it on daily ranges. You can use it on Globex ranges. You could use it on day session ranges. But here's the thing, even if you're a short-term trader, how about this? You can calculate it on opening ranges. You could even calculate it down to one minute if you wanted to. And so you can see, I don't use it at that level of granularity, but it's possible that you can do it. And of course, the only thing you need to do is you would test the opening ranges for whatever time period. Let's I'll just top of my head. Let's say that you want to test a, a 30 minute opening range. If you see a plus two standard deviation up or down in the first 30 minutes of trading in, in any market, then what you want to be able to do is ask that question and say, well, how often does this give me a bias for the next n minutes? So for example, you might find that after some testing, you might find that a plus or minus two standard deviation move in a market gives you a downside. If it says to the downside, gives you a downside bias for the next at least the next six hours. Well, that is fantastic information, especially if you line it up with the time of day to trade and the patterns and Fibonacci ratios. It's just a really quick way of uh, figuring out some extra information. And on top of that, it might think you might think that this takes hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours to do. It actually doesn't. For the newsletter, it takes me less than 30 seconds to get all of the standard deviation information simply one look up to the vix quick tap on a calculator boom there's the numbers for the next week if you wanted to do it so in other words what i'm saying is 
standard deviation is simply limited to, the, to your um, ideas and what ideas you can come up with. So it can be used not only on, on indexes, it can be used on stocks, bonds, forex. I use it on, I'm not sure whether, um, if you're listening to Larry, you might not know that I'm a, a pretty big crypto guy. So I, um, <clears throat> I use it on crypto. I use it to figure out Bitcoin moves, works fantastically well with cryptocurrencies. It can be used with economic data. It can be used with earnings. And so that leads me into Tesla last night. So, Larry, have you got the, um, the, the first yes. chart of Tesla there, the yes, trading sir. view chart? I do. Okay. Now, last, here's why people lose with options. Now, again, I don't know how expert you are. Larry's mentioned that you have a, um, a Think or Swim segment on TFNN. So there's probably a lot of people out there who are pretty expert in options. One of the things that, if you're not an expert in options, one of the things that trips traders up is implied volatility. Now, the simple fact is, is that before an event, especially an earnings event, the implied volatility, especially in a high beta stock, goes up a lot. And so last night before the close, what you're looking at on that chart is the first, the in, those two internal green lines are plus and minus one standard deviation. And those two extra lines are plus and minus two standard deviations. So going into the close last night, how much were you paying for an at the money call and an at the money put? So um, this is where me being a genius has printed this out on dark with a, with a dark background. So apologies like that if it's, if it's going to take the black ink off your printer. But um, if you look at that, if you look at the price of these things bef at the market close last night, you were paying around twenty four dollars and forty and fifty cents for the at the money calls in Tesla, and that's because if you look in the top left, you will see the implied volatility was over a hundred and two percent. Excuse me, the top right, and so. At the sixty, at the six hundred and fifty-seven fifty strike, you're paying twenty-four fifty for the calls. You're paying around twenty-three eighty for the puts, and the implied volatility is one hundred and two percent. And again, with the black ink, apologies, you can't see. It's very difficult to see these blue outlines. Um, that's basically an expected move, and it's plus one hundred uh, plus forty-four point eight. What that means is that is how this software. By the way, this is from um, Tastyworks. This is the option platform I use. That's um, <clears throat> telling you that one standard deviation is forty-four dollars and eighty cents. Very good, John. We have to pay a few more bills, and we'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. We'll be right back with John Jamieson, folks. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with John Jameson. John, we had two requests here. Do you have a website that uh, folks could uh, get more of this information? Sure. If you go to um, John Jameson, which is all one word, dot substack dot com, and um, you can uh, sign up to that, you can uh, you'll get all the updates that I put on the site. And at the bottom of that, um, there's, there's an article I wrote on cryptocurrency last week. At the bottom of that, if you want to join my private list where I go into what I'm talking about now in much more depth, then uh, follow the link there and sign up to my private list, and I'll send you out some stuff that will be useful. Is that the one that's 3000 a month? <laughs> that's what I charge you. Everyone else gets, uh... <laughs> gets it free. Yeah, I figured as much. <laughs> okay, let's continue so, on, please. Okay, so the punchline with Tesla is on the open, literally, the opening bell, just the, just the sound of it just fading away. Seconds after the open, the implied volatility gets crushed. And the, the Tesla is $2.50 higher than the close. But those calls, if you bought those calls, you would expect them, because it's an at-the-money call, to be approximately, you know, a buck, buck 25 higher. So you'd expect your calls to be trading for around 25, 25, 50. In actual fact, those calls had lost 40% of their value. And we're trading, um, I, just one second, I'm getting old with my glasses. We're trading at four, uh, we're trading the next day at around 15, 16 bucks the next, the next morning. And a few minutes after that, Tesla had a small break to the downside, about $6 down move. And those 24, uh, 50 calls were all of a sudden trading for $11.70. And that's why going long options in front of earnings is not a great idea. Uh, and the thing is, though, is that Tesla had barnstorming earnings yesterday. You know, it had the first billion dollar figures, so it was all good. And that's why it's not a good idea. So that means, is there a way, is there a better way to use options, especially if you want to limit risk when using standard deviation? And there is. If you see a high beta stock or, or a growth stock on earnings, open above plus two standard deviations or open below minus two standard deviations, then there is a tendency for that market to continue for the next several days afterwards. And inside there, if you're a pattern trader, you can go inside there and have a fantastic bias for the next several days after that result. Of course, it doesn't work all the time, but that's, how, that's one way you can use it around earnings. Mm -hmm. um, as I say, so the next question is, why does standard deviation work so well in today's markets? And that's because today's markets are have, as I'm sure you're aware, massive amounts of option open interest written in the indexes and in these big tech growth stocks. And that's why they work, because standard deviation is derived from the Black-Scholes option model. And so what is the Black-Scholes option model? Well, if you have the market price, the strike price, the risk-free rate, the time to expiry, 
and one standard deviation. All of that is bundled into the option model. And if you input all that in, what you get out is the option price or the theoretical price. So substituting, if you take out the standard deviation and replace it with the options price, which is known because it's on your brokerage platform, and you get market price, strike price, risk-free rate, time to expiry, and options price, that exposes one standard deviation. And that's great news because it means you can do a quick and dirty calculation on one standard deviation on any liquid market that has options by simply going to the price, the asked price of the call and at the money call at the close of that day or at the close of that week, if you want to do it weekly, and you add it to the price of the at the money put. Add them together and that will give you a rough and ready calculation for one standard deviation. You want two standard deviations, multiply it by two. And that means you can get standard deviations for any market. Now, here's the thing about this. If you're an exactment person, if you're an, an engineer, and I spent 10 years on a circuit in Europe teaching engineers from the big boy tech companies, if you're one of those kind of people that needs absolutely exact figures, then this kind of calculation is going to irritate you because... You can use several different methods to get one standard deviation. I've just told you the easiest way. You can get it from an options, you get it from the option chain. That's the simplest and easiest way. I use the VIX for the newsletter. You will get a slightly different figure if you take the if you take the ES futures or the SPY uh, numbers or the uh, SPX contract and try and figure out one standard deviation. But here's the most important thing. It doesn't really matter. What matters is that you're consistent. So you pick one and you stick with it. So for the newsletter, I use the VIX. It, fant it's fantastically accurate. Is it going to be tick accurate week in, week out? Of course not. But it doesn't need to be. You're looking for price zones, not exact levels. So as long as you stick with one, that's the best way to use it. And so um, how are we going for time, Larry? Uh, we've got another uh, 10 minutes, John, so go right ahead. Okay. So the next thing is um, how can we how can we uh, use standard deviations to figure out um, an easy and quick way to figure out or, or give a beginning place to find an edge. Well, I use three axioms to trade by. Um, all of them I've used in the newsletter. And they are when the only way is up, the only way is down. And the opposite, when the only way is down, the only way is up. And the one that, one that is known by a lot of people, good news, bad action, and bad news, good action. And the last one is frenzies don't begin trends, they end them. And so when you're looking at this, let's say, for example, good news, bad action. So, for example, what you're looking for is you're looking for a, um, a fantastic earnings beat and bad action would be a, minor, a, a price action below minus one standard deviation. And so those are, those are the sort of things, that's how easy it is to find them. You just start off with three axioms, depending on what kind of tr trading you're doing. I tend to have a very specific set of things that I look for. I don't jump around all over the place. Um, I'm more of a, a, a value a value guy. And right now, most of my attention is in cryptocurrencies. Why? Because that's, <laughs> although you might laugh, that's where the longer term trend is because I'm not looking at 2021 or 2022 even. I'm looking out further than that and what they're going to become. So anyway, this isn't a talk about crypto. It's a talk about finding edges with standard deviation. So the next thing is as well, um, different kinds of standard deviation moves can be generally expected depending on different types of trends. So I categorize trends into three types, a parabolic trend, a normal trend, which is just a, a trend where the, the highs and lows will sit on top of each other, forming a space, and a, um, an overlapping trend where the highs and lows, the peaks and troughs of the trend will be inside each other's ranges. And <clears throat> so that that's how i use it and so for example if you're looking at the nasdaq the nasdaq on a chart if you look at that the price action on a daily chart it's just gone straight up um for the last several days uh, obviously not counting today but it went straight up for the last several days so what can you expect from that move well what you can expect from that move is a for this week is from last friday's close which is the mean you can expect the move down to minus one standard deviation Ten more minutes, Sean, and we'll be right back for your. Okay. You've got another three minutes when we end up. Okay, can you stay with us? Uh, I, I, yeah, that took me by surprise. I'll, I'll, yeah, of course, I can. I'll wrap up quickly at the end. Thanks, Larry. Okay, thank you, John. John James, and we'll be right back, folks.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air and water, without them life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at tfnn.com. Hi folks, this is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of the Trader's Edge, heard here at TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with John Jameson uh, over in the UK, and I did post your information into the TFNN room, folks, and if you have any trouble, just email me at LarryPesavento at gmail.com, and I'll send you that uh, link if you need it. So, John, you want to finish up here, please? you got about uh, two minutes and eight seconds, so go right ahead. Okay. Well, having looked at the NASDAQ, today is a perfect example to see how these standard deviations are going to hold the range. So, Obviously, it's just taken a pike dive off the cliff. If you're looking at this on a 30-minute chart, big move down. Minus one standard deviation for the week is down at 14,737. So what you want to be looking for is price action around that level because only 15.8% of your observations, if a market is normally distributed, and we know that the NASDAQ isn't quite, will be, will be above uh, will be below that level. All the others will close above it. So yes, can dip down. And what you're looking for is a flash down, fear move, volume spike reversal around minus one standard deviation to get you set for the next leg. Now that is a big move down. So we'll see how that goes. But that's that's all I'm doing. I'm using standard deviation to find edges. And the reason I use it is that I can compare it to what is normal and what is not normal. If the NASDAQ closes this week, let's say it's an absolutely scary nightmare flush down and we get a close under minus two standard deviations, I know mm -hmm. that only two and a half percent of the observations in a bull market will close down there. And that means the NASDAQ isn't acting normally. And that mm -hmm. means I need to get set 
to change my mind. Why? Because I have a larger bias to the upside. Yeah. That bias to the upside yeah. is a few hundred points higher. And I'm going to have to John. take that off the table if it resets. You know, have the folks uh, realize that it, uh, it's covered in my book? Uh, Floor okay, Traders Handbook. Are they aware of that? That the 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 the, the, the uh, oh my gosh, I'm losing my train of thought. Yeah, in the, the, yeah. Do you oh, give here me we're losing. On that one too, Larry? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there goes the commercial right out the window. Hey, thanks for joining us, buddy. We'll have you on sometime in 2022. Okay. Hope that was useful. Thanks hey, a lot, Larry. Yeah. yeah bye bye. See y'all tomorrow, folks. Tim Boss will be helpful tomorrow. Well.